Harare, Robert Mugabe resigned as Zimbabwe's president on Tuesday, November 21, swept from power as his 37-year reign of autocratic control and brutality crumbled within days of a military takeover. The move looks set to bring an end to Zimbabwe's worst-ever political crisis since the country won independence from Britain in 1980. The bombshell announcement was made by the Speaker at a special joint session of Parliament which had convened to impeach the 93-year-old who has dominated every aspect of Zimbabwean public life for decades. On the streets, the news sparked an explosion of wild celebration. Car horns honked and people erupted into ecstatic cheers and frenzied dancing. I Robert Gabriel Mugabe in terms of Section 96 of the Constitution of Zimbabwe hereby formally tender my resignation. With immediate effect, said the letter which was read out by Parliamentary Speaker Jacob Mudenda. My decision to resign is voluntary on my part. It arises from my concern for the welfare of the people of Zimbabwe and my desire to ensure a smooth, peaceful and non-violent transfer of power that underpins national security, peace and stability. In a highly symbolic scene, a man removed a portrait of Mugabe from a room inside the parliament where MPs were gathering for an extraordinary session to impeach the recalcitrant president. Another bystander replaced it with an image of former Vice President Emerson Nangagwe whose dismissal on November 6 triggered the crisis. Outside, a man held up a smiling newborn wearing white pajamas, prompting rapturous cheering from the crowd. It kept an unprecedented week in which the military seized control and tens of thousands of ordinary Zimbabweans took to the streets in an extraordinary show of defiance to demand that Mugabe leave. I am so happy, I am so happy that Mugabe is gone, 37 years under dictatorship is not a joke. I am hoping for a new Zimbabwe ruled by the people, Tinash Chakhanitsa, 18, told AFP. Men were breakdancing, women were singing and children were in tears as the news began to sink in, all brandishing national flags and praising Army Chief General Constantino Chaiwinga who led the military's power grab. It's shocking, that guy is powerful, very powerful, said Barbara Wright Chiram, who was also taking part in the euphoric celebrations. Mugabe had ruled Zimbabwe almost unopposed since the country won independence from Britain but his efforts to position his wife Grace as his successor triggered fury in the military that had underpinned his regime. His grip on power was shattered last week when the armored military vehicles took to the streets, blockaded parliament and soldiers placed the president under house arrest in an operation that had all the hallmarks of a coup. But the generals stressed they were simply arresting criminals around Mugabe, a reference to Grace's supporters, and they even allowed the one-time liberation hero to deliver a televised speech and appear at a public function. As the crisis grew, the ruling ZANU-PF party, an instrument of Mugabe's ruthless decades-long rule, removed him as party leader and began parliamentary proceedings to have him impeached. The man had run out of options.